Hi everyone, I am Justin and welcome to another Weight Watchers Clinic strength training routine. Now don't forget to track this workout in your app under WW Clinic Dumbbell Exercises. Now let's get into the workout. Hi everyone, I am Justin and welcome to another Weight Watchers Clinic strength training routine. I am joined by my good friend Scout over here. So for today's routine, we are going to be on the mat for the whole time, okay? Uh, you're gonna need a mat, you are going to need a pair of dumbbells, and what's gonna happen today is I will walk you through three full rounds of this routine, and it's up to you if you wanna do one, two, or three routines. So. The first exercise that we're going to do is going to be a core exercise. So we're gonna hold uh, one weight. So starting out with just one weight, arm is gonna go up like this. We're gonna put our legs up and we're going to lower the opposite leg, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of those. Keep your low back in contact with the ground. You'll get a little bit more core engagement if you actually crunch up a little bit, but I don't want you to be cranking out through your neck. So that part is up to you. So we're gonna go 10 and here we go. I'm gonna start out right arm, left leg, here we go. One, keeping my low back on the ground. Two, even if that means we're just going down partially. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm going to go ahead and switch arms and then we're gonna switch legs. So now left arm, right leg, here we go. One, two, three, four. This is working on our core, keeping our low back pushed into the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job there. We are going to move into, it's called the seated dumbbell, or lying down dumbbell chest press. So we're gonna use two weights now, and we're just going to lie down just like this. And we're pressing the weight up together, okay? Here we go, we're gonna go 10 of those. This is working our chest, our shoulders, and our triceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great work. So we are going to go into this seated position right here, and we are going to do an overhead press. We're gonna press the weight right over our head. So let's grab those weights. I'm actually gonna have us press out at a, at a slight angle. So actually we're gonna aim for more like right here like that. So let's do that press out and we're gonna go for 10. Here we go. One, two, work on our shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that was our seated press out, working our shoulders. The next exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to working our abs. We're going to do a Russian twist. It's gonna be up to you if you want to hold on to the weight or not, okay? So I'm gonna let us keep our feet down and we're going like this, one, one, two, two. If you do wanna hold the weight, you can go just like this, okay? We're going to do 10 of those together. Here we go. One, one, two, two. You watching me? Three. Checking my technique, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. So that was our Russian twist. We are gonna be back down on the mat and we are going to do a hip bridge and it's gonna be up to you if you wanna hold the weight. So if I'm gonna hold the weight, I'll put it right here and we're going to do 10 of these. So that's gonna work our glutes. And here we go, 10 reps. Lifting our hips right up. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're just one away. So it's going to be a row, it's called a row on all fours. Now, for this exercise, we are going to be in this position. And I know that sometimes being down in the knees can be a little bit bothersome. So what I would recommend doing is just grab a pillow. That way you can put your knees on the pillow. Um, it's gonna be a lot, a lot softer. And so what we're gonna do from here is just row up just like this. We're gonna do 10 reps and then we're gonna switch over, do 10 reps on the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's switch sides. Hey, you got a scratchy ear? All right, switching sides, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. You did great. So that's one round. This is going to be up to you if you want to do a second or a third round. I'm going to move back into that leg lowering position. You okay? Here. I know it's hard without opposable thumbs, but I'm going to move into that leg lowering position. So right hand up, lowering the left leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. If you feel this too much in your low back, just go down a little, don't go down as far. Eight, I think, nine, and 10. I'm gonna put my legs down for a sec. I'm going to switch hands, and I'm gonna change my legs. So right leg now, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great work. Now you're gonna get a 30 second rest. We're gonna come back here and we are going to do that floor press. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and grab both of our weights. We're gonna go ahead and get into that floor press. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great, that was our floor press. Joe, go ahead and join me up here for that seated press out. We're gonna get a 30 second break and we'll be right back. Let's go ahead and grab our weights. So we're gonna do that seated press out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome work. 30 seconds rest, and then you're gonna come back here for the Russian twist.
welcome back. Up to you if you want to use your weight. We're gonna lean back just a little. Going into that Russian twist, here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Great work. 30 second break, and we are going to be on our backs for that hip bridge. Up to you if you want to include a weight. Welcome back. We're gonna get into those 10 hip bridges. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent work. You have a 30 second break and then we are going to be here for our last exercise. Remember, if you want to use the pillow, you can. I'll show you from this angle, but it's gonna be that all fours rows. Okay, we are going to get into our second round of those all fours rows. So here we go, 10 on each arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Hey, we are going to move over to our final round. Up to you if you are sticking with us, but it's going to be that alternating leg lowering. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. I'm going to hold one, my right arm up, and I'll lower my left leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's switch over to the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Keep our low back pressed in the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and <laughs> that was a bad last one, and 10. All right, take a 30 second break and we are going to be doing that dumbbell chest press. Welcome back. I have someone who's decided to spot me from right here. We're gonna get into that dumbbell chest press. Here we go, ready? One, two, that's not a good spotter. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
Great work, let's put those down. You're gonna get a 30 second break. We're gonna do that dumbbell press out. Welcome back. Let's get into that press out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome work. Go ahead and take a 30 second break. We'll be back here for that Russian twist. Welcome back, let's get into the Russian twist. We're gonna have that weight right here, and here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Great work. Uh, we have two exercises left. 30 second break and then we're back here for the hip bridge. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and lie down doing 10 hip bridges. And here we go. One, squeeze our butt at the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome work. So, we are going to get a 30 second break before we finish off with the all fours rows. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and get into the rows. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Working our back and our biceps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's switch on over to the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, hey, great work with this routine today. Just a reminder to plan out when your next one is gonna happen. That means put it in your calendar, schedule it out. Great work today, and I'll see you here for the next one. 